foul, you got off to a good start, and you looked like you were trying to pull him away from the basket, or was, was that your plan, or was it like just your shots? We weren't going to get many inside, I guess. I think that was the game plan. Uh, yeah, we just we just had to kind of do what we did versus you guys. Uh, spread them out, but keep on moving too. Not necessarily settle for threes. Uh, there was one I shouldn't have took at the end, but yeah, that was the game plan just to keep them moving because uh, he has a little bit of a hard time moving and transitioning when he shows on the ball screen and stuff like that. Was it also the game plan that if he caught the ball, kind of slap at it because he had very good hands? Oh, yeah. I mean, he we just had to make sure that when he brought the ball down, that we were swarming him, and that was the game plan the whole time because if you, if you saw him in the game, it looked like he's playing on a nerf hoop. He's just putting me in the rim, so uh, we just had to make sure we were uh, swarming on it. Uh, we did. We all did a good job. Jacob, you had a rough night the other night. Uh, nice comeback tonight. Is it just one of those games the other night, or something? Did you do something different? Uh, thank you. First off, but um, you know, it's just it was just one of those games. Like, but I just shook it off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just. Had to refocus and get back to just playing hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I feel like when I'm playing hard, that's when everything else for me goes. I, that's when my, I get my confidence offensively. And I just wanted to come out tonight and be aggressive on defense, try to get in the pass I and mean, get us out in transition, get some easy buckets for us, so just to get our team going, be like an energy spark plug tonight for us. Did Mick get on you a little bit after that game? Because he, he didn't know if you didn't have any deflections or he only had two up here what it was. And no points. He said they, they can't win like that. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. He got on me. You know, it's just a, a, a learning point for me that I know, like, this year I want us to be special. And I, I know I can't go out there and perform like I did. You know, I'm not not, not putting any pressure on myself, but it's just like I, I just know, like, I got to do better. And I know I can do better like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know. Basketball, he has it ups and downs. Kyle, what's it like playing against a guy like that? How long did it take to, to adjust to just how big he is? Um, it was crazy. Uh, he was a huge human being. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, well, well, the game plan was to straddle him and stay on his legs and uh, kind of keep him uncomfortable, try to get him outside of the paint because he just had such an easy finish on the inside. But I played some, I played Shin Bular uh, in the AU tournaments. So he's He's That's like, a different big. Yeah, yeah. But he's like seven, four, seven, five, yeah. something like that. So, I mean, I, I wasn't intimidated. I just wanted to be there for my team, honestly, because, you know, that's we needed that one. It's, they're a good team. You know, they're a solid team, a good coach. So, yeah, I just want to be there for my team. Hey, Jacob, what do you guys think of being 22 and 2 now? I mean, you can't get obviously much better than that. Does the pressure build or do you get more confidence? It's more easy. It's easier now to win. Or how do you guys react to all that? Well, you know, no disrespect, but like we feel like we can't get better, like you know, because we we're not playing our record. We're playing it for March, for later, for the tournament. Like, so we see it as every game is getting one step better for our ultimate goal. You know, we we set some team goals in the beginning of the year, and we told ourselves that we were gonna work to get there, and that's our that's our main goal, just to keep getting better every, every game, every day. Cut. The other day, he was surprised that you weren't ranked number eleven earlier. <clears throat> Do you guys think about that at all? Do you look at that stuff? We, we try not to look at it because once you once your uh, head blows up over our number 11, you look at a team like Baylor, you know, they, they uh, emerged to number one and took a loss to West Virginia. So you just have to say even keel. And, uh, you know, the the polls don't really mean anything. It, it matters uh, how far you go in March. And that's the legacy we want to leave. So. It's kind of cool, though, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is cool. I, I woke up. And I was, <laughs> wow, we we are number eleven. We're getting closer and closer. And the piggyback on Kyle, you know, like it's nice. It's the this is the best team I've ever played on. You know, we were winning. It's the most I've ever won. And you, we, but we just had that mindset of the, the hungry dog gets the bone. You know, like a team maybe not. We might play some team that's not ranked in our conference, but if they hungry in us that night, then they're gonna get the bone. So. We just got to, we know we're on the court that ranking, that number besides your name doesn't mean anything. I'm sure you might hear something about this this next couple of days. You know what happened the last time this team was 22 and 2 and won 15 in a row? What happened? The final four was that the night? No, they went to SMU and got blown out. Oh, okay. Well, like, like Jaco said, this is, Jaco said, this is honestly just a different type of group. You know, I, I really can't explain it, but. We just have a lot of love for each other, and we're honest with each other all times, and and I think that's what will really take us over the top. You know.
know, we really, and we really, we stay humble too. You know, coach doesn't really have to say, hey, don't get a big head. We, we are staying humble and we're always telling each other, how, how can we get better? So I feel like it's just a different group, man. I just feel it. Asked Troy and Kevin about it, they were there. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Their friends, was that our freshman year? <clears throat> yeah. SK and Justin. SMU is a tough team. We have a challenge ahead of us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.